What is up? Welcome back to the Ride and Dad channel, or welcome if it's your first time. Either way, very glad to have you. This is not really a super fun video. Uh, I don't enjoy making these kind of videos, as you'll see in a few seconds, uh, but they do very much need to be done. Um, I don't want to mislead people. So let's roll the intro. We'll get into what I'm talking about. So before we talk about, I mean, obviously you guys saw the thumbnail, so this is not a surprise for you. Uh, but before we talk about, you know, what exactly is going on, um, I'm going to play a short clip for you. This is me riding on the tail of the dragon. So uh, enjoy. So as you can see, not super good, right? Um, now, before I explain you know, what's going on or whatever, I wanna also say this was a conscious decision of mine to do what I did. Um, I'm not saying my bike threw me off, whatever. So, so what happened was um, leaning. That was one of the first times I took a turn at that much of a lean angle, um, going up towards the tail of the dragon. We kind of took it easy on some turns, you know, kind of warming up for the tail of the dragon because those turns are sharper than most of the other ones. So taking it easy i'm going up there didn't really experience too too much of a lean angle on any of those turns and then obviously where i live in florida i don't have any spots that are even i mean you have to grossly exceed the the speed limit to hit anything even close to tapping out lean angle on this bike so uh first time i was taking a pretty aggressive left turn um high lean angle and i hit something um, lean angle. I knew it wasn't the peg. Uh, be, well, I was assuming it wasn't the peg because I didn't feel it. Normally you can feel, you know, for those of you that scrape pegs, you can feel it on your feet. It kind of picks your foot up a little bit and you feel more of the vibration like right under the foot. Um, so I didn't think it was that, but I also came, you know, I was at a, as you can see in the video, I was making the left, um, got to a point where there was like, you know, no return, went to lean more, had nothing left so at that point in time um given my surroundings on the right side and everything um it was kind of you know obviously there was like that little divot there in the road but it was or it was it was all flat off road kind of besides you know that little divot um and there was that pretty aggressive lip from the concrete to the grass or dirt whatever you want to call it off road um so i didn't want to chance trying to break a little bit more and then running out of road and lean angle at the same time and then going off at an angle because then i would have definitely down the bike um coming off of that lip uh you know off road um so my decision was to straighten out the bike and break um try to even out to where I could take that off-road line that I had there um, out to natural on-road again. Um, and thankfully I did, no issues to myself or the bike. Obviously it was kind of scary at the time because I'm like, eh, you know, you, you hope everything's gonna be okay with the bike and you hope you judged it correctly. Now, if I really hunkered down, uh, grabbed a little bit of brake smoothly, would I have been able to come out of that corner um, given that I had no extra lean angle? I don't know. Um, again, I made a decision with the road and the off-road that was there uh, for that turn. Now, had it been the side of a mountain, thankfully I did not experience this on the, you know, going off the side of the cliff or the mountain or whatever, um, because it wouldn't have been different. Uh, I probably, I would have probably come close to, if not definitely uh, low siding the bike. So all that being said, uh, yeah, the bare knuckle performance uh, extension, the kickstand extension block, what it makes you do is scrape your kickstand, which sucks. Um, the reason this sucks, besides the fact that you don't wanna wear down all of your kickstand, is when you scrape your pegs, you have give, right? Cause they have that springy action. Like I feel like I'm like a penguin or whatever with flippers, but they have that springy action. So when you scrape, okay, you know, you got a little bit, you know, little extra before it's all the way up. Kickstand doesn't have that, right? So kickstand, you have a tiny, tiny bit of give depending on where you're scratching the kickstand. Specifically with this setup, I was scratching the front of the kickstand where it is uh, uh, connected to the block. So I did not know ahead of time, you know, I thought it was enough under the bike that your lean angle would be over that spot. Um, but I actually talked to now three other people with the same issue. One guy has this issue really bad and I've talked to him already, but uh, he asked if I got scraped and I said, no, I haven't had anything yet because was in Florida at the time. I didn't know, you know, what was to come, but we've talked since and I've explained, you know, that, yeah, man, you are hundred percent right. Uh, I almost took it off while I was there. I just didn't feel like it was worth the time. I figured, um, ever since that turn, 
Uh, I just decreased my lean angles and was more cautious than anything. I did. I tried really hard not to scrape it all on the left because you just you don't. Once you scrape that, you're out of lean angle. And I don't live in a place where I have you know grown accustomed to that lean angle spot. So I just tried really hard to not even get close to that to have an issue, especially over there. You know, you go off road in Florida and you're you're just on a different road or on a flat ground or whatever on on North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia roads where we were at. Not not the case. You. You go down and away from everything. Um, you know, worst case scenario, obviously. So yes, thankfully, um, wasn't that bad. Could have been a lot worse. Obviously, didn't down the bike, didn't hurt myself or the bike in any way, thankfully. Um, but this kickstand extension block is coming off ASAP. Um, I, I recommend, I don't recommend this at all. I recommend not getting it for a lot of people now. Um, just that scraping the lean angle. If you're someone that wants it to keep it, whatever, and you're okay with scraping, go ahead. Um, but I just, I can't see why anyone would be okay with that. Uh, because like I said, you don't have that give like you do with the pegs. And you're also losing lean angle in general because this scrapes before the lean angle. So you're, you're scraping before you would even normally scrape. And the whole point, well, one of the points of raised suspension on bikes is to get, on Harleys at least, is to get more of that lean angle for your left and right. So not only are you losing some of the lean angle that you had from taller suspension, you're also getting unsafe lean scraping because you don't have those pegs to, you know, kind of buffer it. You just have a, a hard part on the bike, which is not great. So yeah. Uh, wanted to make this video just to be very um, transparent with everybody, explain, hey, um, you know, and this is why I don't have a review video on my install. My install videos are labeled install video. You know, I, I, uh, I talk about the quality of the part, um, stuff like that, but I obviously I don't talk about my experience with it because I have it not, I don't have any experience on it. And that's why I try to wait to do review videos or, you know, kind of give you guys uh, a glimpse of, you know, what it's like until um, pretty far in the future and pretty far for testing. So yeah, I have tested. I know Likey it is coming off and I wanted to let you guys know. So um, that wraps it up for this video. Pretty pretty short and sweet. Um, just really wanted to get that across to you guys. Um, yeah, uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concern or whatever. Um, you know, obviously in the YouTube comments uh, or Instagram is a really easy way to just send me a direct message or whatever. And again, to the one guy that you know commented on before the video about the scraping, and I said I haven't had anything yet or whatever. We've talked, and <laughs> sorry, man, I should have listened to you more, or at least tried to really stress my bike out before I took that trip. Uh, but yeah, you're right, man. Definitely scrapes. It sucks. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will be switching to something else. So maybe you'll see uh, you know one of those Bun King extension blocks on install for that in my future. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Again, comment, like, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications because I'm, I'm sweating in this Florida heat in the garage for you guys. Uh, but yeah, I really do appreciate it. And it really helps the channel. Uh, like I said, Instagram. Um, I have a TikTok now. It's doing really good for the very limited experience I have on the app. Uh, but yeah, so I do some, I, I dawdle in a, uh, TikTok a little bit, but uh, let me know what you think of the video. And until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun, dad. <laughs>